So much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two year period plus that I've been doing this. Um, thank you for showing your uh, love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel. Also, you can do it by way of Patreon, Anchor, the clothing store, and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below. And again, thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period. I wouldn't be able to do what I do every single day without you. Dave Chappelle announced that he is donating all proceeds from his show in Buffalo to the families of the Tops mass incident. Chappelle performed at Shays on Sunday with family members of the victims in attendance. 10 people had their lives taken and three others were injured during the mass incident at Tops on Jeffrey Avenue on May 14th, as Western New York mourns with the families who lost loved ones. The suspect was arraigned on 25 count indictment on June 2nd and faces life without parole if found guilty. Two families impacted by the incident are scheduled to speak at congressional hearings Tuesday and Wednesday. On Tuesday, Garnell Whitfield Jr., the son of Ruth Whitfield, one of the 10 people who had their lives taken, will testify before the Senate Judiciary Committee when there will be a hearing on, quote, examining the metasizing domestic terrorism threat after the Buffalo attack. On Wednesday, Zanetta Everhart, the mother of Zaire Goodman, one of the three people injured during the Buffalo incident, and Buffalo Police Commissioner Joseph Gramagilla will testify before the House of Representatives Committee on Oversight and Reform when the committee holds a hearing on gun violence following the recent Delhi incident. Everhart and Goodman have also filed a petition in court against the parents of the shooting suspect. The purpose of the pre-action disclosure is to preserve evidence for a potential lawsuit against the suspect's family and identify all possible defendants. I just want to say uh, much love and appreciation to Dave Chappelle and his family. This is one of the many reasons why I love Dave Chappelle. Um, because in a sense, you know, more than just, you know, the comedy acts that he does and the amounts of truth, right, that he can put directly into a subject topic. Um, on top of the fact on him standing his ground on a lot of his beliefs, on a lot of the things that he has stated and he has also proven his point a great many of times especially uh when it comes at the cost of potentially him you know uh injuring right or, or, or losing anything dealing with his career he is the type of man to basically put all his chips on the table and just let the dice fall right and he's done that on a great uh many of occasions and you know here it's great to see a you know celebrity um to do something to benefit others because also often um do we see a lot of incidents and a lot of things take place to us and we're always looking right we're always wondering like hey i wonder if you know anybody in olympus is going to you know see us if they're going to notice that yo something is happening to us like yo we need just a little bit of help we're not asking for you know a lot we're not asking for much we're just you know asking just for a little bit right and dave Chappelle is one of those who came from olympus and he's like you know what i got you i see what's happening here and i see how nobody's really trying to do anything for y'all let me sit up here and step up to the plate right now mind you like i said before we shouldn't be dependent or asking or looking for celebrities right to basically come out of their pockets or to specifically do things for us because even though you have a lot of black celebrities out here who have you know millions upon hundreds of millions if not potentially billions of dollars right that's their own money right and i'm just going to be real I i'm just going to be real that's their own money right realistically they don't owe me nothing right i might sit up there and partake in their songs might stream them i might do this i might do that but realistically they don't owe me anything right because they made that money themselves they made their investments they set up there and use whatever they have to sit up there and do in order to make those millions my one dollar whatever it is 
did not realistically contribute to the multitude of bank accounts that they have right but the one thing that i keep telling the black community is that instead of waiting for a black celebrity or a savior to show up black people need to learn how to do for us there's enough of us in uh, the black community and in communities in general around the united states where we could literally set up a gofundme and we can donate money to these families right we'll you know basically for example set up a a large gofundme just a generalized gofundme and it would be for the victims right of the incident that took place at tops and the money would be as evenly split as possible and it would go directly to those families so that maybe they got lawyers fees maybe they got medical fees maybe they have to bury uh loved ones maybe certain loved ones they have you know lifelong injuries from this maybe you know ptsd or a physical injury different things of that nature but there's enough of us in the black community to donate a dollar to donate five dollars to donate ten dollars you know directly to this cause and you know like i said before it's up to us realistically to do for us it's up to us realistically to save ourselves and to protect ourselves when it comes to the black community we should never realistically expect anything from anybody else if something does happen like what dave Chappelle did is dope that is awesome like i said i support you know dave Chappelle, and you know i've I watched a lot of his uh, you know, comedy specials and, you know, and different things in that nature. I hope and, and wish the best, you know, for his career from now to, you know, pretty much the end of days or, or whenever he decides that, you know, he wants to sit up there and retire. But like I said before, at the end of the day, it is up to us as a black community to band together, to come together, or at least I'm not even saying everybody. The ones that want to do something it's up to us to basically come together in order to make these things happen like i said we can't account realistically for everybody else because everybody else is different everybody else is a you know an individual and all these other types of things these problems that we face is not every other black person's problem right so the ones that want to actually come together and do something in the community and each one of the, the the communities around the united states we need to sit up there and do so quick fast in a hurry so that we can get this ball rolling and again uh you know my condolences to you know any of those who lost family um loved ones uh co-workers or friends um you know at tops and you know again much love support and appreciation to dave Chappelle and his family for everything that they're doing